Good morning everyone. Welcome to Mathematics 5 Quarter 3 Week Number 6. We are now in Quarter 3 Week Number 6 of our most essential learning. Our learning competency for this day at the end of the lesson, you should be able to formulate the rule in finding the next term in a sequence. And you're going to use different strategies to solve for the unknown in simple equation involving one or more equi operation in whole number and fraction. So lesson number nine, finding the next term in the sequence. Before that, let's have some activity. So you're going to find the next two term or fi next two figure. You have 15 seconds to answer. Let's try for number one. 15 seconds. Try to observe. Okay. Four, three, two, one. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is this one. Okay, so observe the this, uh, the figure is moving in circular motion clockwise, and then the arrow is on left, right, uh, on right, left, right, left. Next for number two, we have a letter. Fifteen seconds. A E I M blank blank. So what would be the next two term? Okay, time's up. The correct answer for this one is Q and U because A B C D E skip by four letters and E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U. So it's key four letters. And for number three, find the next two figures or terms. 15 seconds. Five. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is 23 and 19. So we will uh, discuss this later. And for number 4, this sequence is 1, 4, 9, 16, blah, blah. What would be the next two term? So the answer is... 36 at uh, 25 and 36 so later on we will discuss why is that it becomes 25 and it becomes 36 and for number five for the last questions for our activity we have 2 4 8 16 so you have 15 seconds to know what would be the next two term five four three two one times up or like answer is 32 and 64 so later on we will discuss that so before that let's discuss what do you mean by sequence sequence is a set of numbers which written in a special order by application of a definite rule again definite rule then let's have some example find the next two term we're going to find the next two term so the pattern would be like this one seven minus three is four the second term we're going to subtract by the first term 7 minus 3 is 4 11 minus 7 is 4 15 minus 11 is 4 so they have a common factor or a common difference so the common difference is 4 so we can assume that 3 is equal to 3 is equal 4 is equal to 4 3 plus 4 11 is equal to 3 plus 3, 3 plus 4 plus 4, 
15 is 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 so by finding the n term the first term is 4 times 0 is plus 3 is equal to 3 second term is 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7 third term is 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11 fourth term is fourth term is 4 times 3 12 plus 3 is 15 and the fifth term is 5 times 3 the answer is 15 plus 3 uh, 5 times uh, 4 times 4 answer is 16 plus 3 is 19 then 5 times uh, 4 times 5 the answer is 20 plus 3 is 23 so that's it that's the rule they so we can also use this one 3 plus 4 7 plus 4 11 plus 4 15 plus 4 19 plus 4 so this would be the other way on how to find the next two term this would be adding 4 to the preceding numbers so add 4 to the previous numbers to get the next term so this would be the process now example number two find the next two term one four nine sixteen blank blank so let's try the process four minus one is three nine minus four is five sixteen minus nine is seven so does not have a common difference or a common factor or the common difference rather so let's try another way to solve this one we have one multiplied by one one two multiplied by two three multiplied by three four multiplied by four five multiplied by five six multiplied by six so this would be the process the rule is you're going to multiply the number of term by itself so the number of term is first one minus multiplied by one second term two multiplied by two third term and so on then for number three find the next three term and the rule so the sequence is one three five seven nine so let's assume that one it becomes two so one plus two is three then three plus two is five five plus two seven 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 2 is what? 11, 11 plus 2 is 13, 13 plus 2 is 50. So the rule is you're going to add 2 to the previous number to get the next term. And find the next three term again. 1, 3, 7, 15, 31, 33, 63, blank, blank. So again, let's have a pattern. 1 plus 2. 3 plus 4, 7 plus 8, 15 plus 16 is 31, 31 plus 32 is 63, then so double it the number uh, added by the first term, so double it, 2 times 2 is... 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, then 32 times 64, uh, 2 is 64, 64 times 2 is 128, so 32 multiplied by 2 is 64, 64 plus 63, the answer is 127, then double 64, the answer is 128, 128 plus 127, the answer is 255, and 128 double 8, the answer is 256. 256 plus 255 is 511 so that would be the rule then there is another solution for this sequence so let's try to observe this one we have the first of uh, previous number is 1 multiplied by 2 plus 1 so the previous number is 1 multiplied by 2 times 1 the answer is 3 in the previous number is 3 3 multiplied by 2 times 1, the answer is 7. Then the previous number is 7. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 1 is 15. Then the preceding number is 15. Multiplied by 2 is 30 plus 1, the answer is 31. 
so and so on so the rule is you're going to multiply the previous number by 2 and add 1 so let's apply this one so multiply 63 times 2 the answer is 126 plus 1 is 127 then the next one is 127 multiplied by 2 the answer is 254 plus 1 255 255 multiplied by 2 the answer is 510 plus 1 is 511 so that would be the rule multiplied by 2 the preceding number and add 1 so let's have some activity time you have one minute to answer this one so find the next three term of the following sequence and state the rule this should be the sequence this should be the next three term this should be the rule you have one minute your timer starts now You have 35 seconds left. Per sequence is 3, 6, 9, 12, 64, 54, 48, 42, 2, 5, 8, 11, 1, 4, 13, 40, 1, 4, 10, 22. So find the next three term and the rule. Okay, 10 seconds left. You may type in your questions in the comments, uh, answers in the comment section below. So let's check the answer for number one. The next three term is 15, 18, 21. The rule is add three. So you're going to add three. Eight plus three is six. Six plus three is nine. And this would be the next three term. Then for number two, the next three term is 36, 30. 24 so the rule is you're going to subtract 6 to the previous number so this would be 60 minus 6 54 54 minus 6 48 48 minus 6 42 42 minus 6 the answer is 36 36 minus 6 is 30 so that's the rule then for number 3 the next three terms are 14 17 20 the rule is you're going to add 3 to the previous number so add 3 5 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 3 is 8 11 plus 3 is 14 and so on then for number 4 you have 121 364 1093 so the rule is you're going to multiply the previous number by 3 plus 1 so let's try 1 multiplied by 3 the answer is 3 Plus 1 is 4. Then 4 multiplied by 3. The answer is 12. Plus 1 is 13. 13 multiplied by 3 is... We have 39. Plus 1 is 40. So, that's the rule. And then for number 5, 46, 94, 109. So, the rule is multiplied by 2, the previous number, and add by 2. So, I hope you get the correct answer, agreed by the appeals. So, let's proceed now to solving for the unknown in simple equation. So, let's have an activity first. Star multiplied by star multiplied by diamond. The answer is 16. Star plus diamond multiplied by car answer is 13 and then car plus car plus car plus car is equal to 27 so let's observe this one so we can say that 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9 so 9 plus 9 plus 9 is equal to 27 so the value of car is 9 9 multiplied by 1 the answer is 13 13 plus 4 the answer a 9 plus 9 multiplied by 1 rather is 9 plus 
4 is 13. So we can say that the value of star is 4. And the value of diamond is 1. Then 4 times 4 is 1. Times 1 is 16. So that would be the value of each figure. So let's proceed to problem number 1. Problem is Leia 16 years older than 4 times her daughter if she is 36 years old. How old is her daughter? So what is as age of Leia's daughter? Given our Leia's age is 36 years old, Leia's age Leia is 16 years older than 4 times her daughter. So the solution is Leia's age is 36 years old. And we can let the the daughter's age as the black first block. So we can use the block model upload approach. So we have four times. So we have one, two, three, four. Then plus sixteen is more than sixteen years old. And then is equal to thirty six. This would be the total age of the uh, then so Add 16 both sides to make the equation balance. So 16 plus 6 is 0. Then 36 minus 16, the answer is 20. Then we can divide 20 into 4 equal parts. So we have 20 divided 4 is equal to 5. So each part of the age of the 4 times. So we have 5. So the age of daughter is 5. Then for number two, at a big sale, Mr. Santos sold six dozen cookies before lunch. After lunch, Mr. Santos sold another seven dozen of cookies. When it was time to leave, they had two dozen cookies left. How many cookies did she have at the start of the big sale? So what is as in the total number of cookies? Mr. Santos have from the start and the given are Mr. Santos 6 dozen cookies before lunch, 7 dozen cookies after lunch, and 2 dozen cookies left. So the number sent is N minus 6 minus 7 is equal to 2. Why is that N minus 6? Because it's sold. And, and my minus 7 is sold again and then... 2 is positive because it is left. So let's try move backward. Let's try the process of moving backward. Before, after lunch, after uh, before solving 7 dozen, we have 9 dozen. Then after solving 6 dozen, we have 15 dozen. So therefore, we the value of n is equal to 15 dozen. So again, let's have an activity time. You have one minute to solve this one. So we have one, two, three, four, five. You have one minute. Your timer starts now. So solve for n for number one. 47 plus n is equal to 127. For number two, n minus 34 is equal to 96. For number three, 2 multiplied by 6 minus n is equal to 3. For number 4, Dina bought a ribbon that is 48 inches long and cut it into 2 pieces. One piece is 3 times long as the other. How long is each piece? And for number 5, think of any number between 1 to 10 multiplied by 2 and add 10 to the product. Divide the sum by 2. Subtract the number from the quotient and what is the result? So, okay. So, we have 10 seconds left. You may type in your answer in the comment section below. Okay, time's up. Let's reveal the answer. For number 1, we have n is equal to 80. For number 2, is n is equal to 130. For number 3, we have n is equal to 9. And for number 4, 12 inches and 36 inches. 
and for number five is five now wrap up a sequence is a set of numbers written in a special order by application of definite rule to solve for the unknown is simple equation we can use different techniques like working backward Black model approach, guess and check. And for our home learning tasks, top five students can answer it quickly. Will be the Matinic student of the week. So the home learning task is assessment, multiple choice, circle the correct rule for each number sequence. This would be the sequence, this would be the rule. So that's all for today. Thank you and God bless.